Hello boys and girls, welcome to another session of Dwarf Fortress Theatre Moisten. So let's summarize what we did so far. We have settled um, on a hill slope near a forest and, and a plain with a river. We have found uh, lots of lignite and recently also the first metal ore, which is galena. We are digging into uh, limestones, a limestone which is flux. And galena we have found over here. This is the first galena piece we have found. Um, since we have lignite, we have a natural source of fuel. So we can think about an early metal industry, which we didn't start yet. Hello, Fergo. Because, well, there, there is lots of things to build. We, we need stockpiles. We need covered pastures for our animals. So we are breeding cows, which is what I want, actually, because cows, especially not uh, cows, but calves, uh, calves, when slaughtered, they you can produce vellum, which is uh, so something like a pergament, but a very fine pergament. The finest quality pergament there is is vellum from the young calves. So um, I want later when this fortress is up and running properly um, have a library where we would write on vellum. And scribes and basically copying books and writing new ones. So that that's the, that's the plan. So a big big library, which would be renown and we would host many scholars. Um, yeah, so we we are, we are starting small. We have a water buffalo and horse and a mule, which has a mule calf. Um, those pa these pastures are covered already, accessible from below. This is our barracks. Not covered yet, but soon to be covered. We have um, oh well, the winter practically just started. We have traded with the caravan a little bit. Um, we are like small trinkets, but nicely, well not nicely, but um, decorated with, with some cheap gems which are found most mostly wax opals which we can find in this limestone well and that's about it we have a small farm which has nothing to produce in the winter plump helmets we've got no seeds yeah dimple cups yeah we, we should probably have some dimple cups but Okay, um, military needs to be equipped. We have some squads set up, uh, but it's, I mean, it's all but, so I mean, we have, we have our first Marx squad, but we will need, we'll need some, uh, some military guys as well. So might as well just do it and Go straight into the game now with 
and wipe that and paste. Okay, so how to sort them? Military status, pretty much squad, right? So, see, look, I will put desktop add them and uh, coxa coxa mang well and sibrek well sibrek Sibreg will become the militia captain. Okay. Okay, well, that should be it. Amazing works is the squad. Okay. Well then, hello Ryan. Um, yes, we. What we need to do here is tame these chinchillas because they can provide leather, and we need leather for armor. Um, So let's have the carpenter, this carpenter's workshop, yes it is. Let's make some cages basically. Set up cages. I would play Fallout 4. Well, no, sorry, I'm not. I'm not really not into these kind of games like Fallout. Mm. Yes, I don't know. I feel, feel like in Fallout there is there is little thinking to be done, but maybe only I play it badly. Maybe you can play Fallout by thinking rather than by fighting well, i don't know how and i'm not too interested in it well 10 cages yes should be should just check bowyer's workshop should give to this should give to this and as we have a wood furnace, we should make charcoal. We need one piece of charcoal so that we can start our um, can start our metal industry. So. For that, we will just smooth this. I have 
downstairs here. Don't have. This guy's making doors, yes. That is good. Um, yeah, we will need a stockpile of rock pots here. Uh, this guy seems slightly unhappy. Bored after being unable to wander. Practice craft. Well, okay. So, monom. Monom minor wants to practice a craft so we will make him we will make him an arm well i i can't i don't have have really a weapon uh, armor grade m metal so i'll make him a weapon smith So we have some charcoal, we have some cages.
Now we will need the hatch covers. Well, and about tables and chairs, um, I'm not sure where to place them yet. Ryan says, I liked your Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. Was it the reason? What was the reason? Well, I got bored. Too. That was the reason I I stopped playing it. I stopped liking the game. It was like... It, f it started to feel dumb. So, yeah, but it's how it feels. So, Dan says, only thing I enjoy personally about games like Fallout is the character creation. Everything else feels like a MMORPG. Yeah, which if played by a single player, uh, leaves too much to be desired. Well, I don't know. Well, Fallout, it was okay for me to play it as a single player. I did not miss any player interactions, but I missed beauty. F I missed beauty. Everything in Fallout is so destroyed, broken dirty shabby oh shabby is probably not the right word but you know what i mean it's like a very very sad environment like i love some something like oblivion and skyrim where you can just see beautiful lush landscape full of life and teeming with animals and it's, it's in um, fallout everything is like post-apocalyptic and dead and hopeless so that was very very depressing for me to play and i wanted to play games which cheer me up a little bit which are fun to play and like I, I got all sorts of depressive thoughts when playing fallout and that was hugely contributing to uh, why i stopped playing it because it did not f make me feel happy it made made me feel sad depressive depressed or how, how how should I say it So um, let's have a um, furnace, smelter, let's have a smelter here, let's have a stockpile of
stockpile of lignite over here. All right, so here we will want a kitchen, kitchen and still. Dan says about fallout, yeah, the quests are so predictable too. Go collect this, go kill this, becomes repetitive. Yeah, that too, but that, that's, all, that's kind of okay. I mean, I've played more games that which have repetitive quests. And all plants except pigtail and dimple cup what else well dimple cup pretty much that's enough for now
prepared food shall be stored here. Actually have it stored here. What do you need to do in this game? I'm clu clueless. Um, care for your dwarves. These little faces running around in uh, our, our dwarves. And each of them has a personal individuality and thoughts, preferences, likes and dislikes. And they are supposed to live together in a fortress. Ah, here we go. Here we have the first stairs. So let's build fine door here. All right, we can allow probably we can allow. Yeah, wheelbarrows. One wheelbarrow is probably fine here. Right. And this workshop will burn lignite stone and produce coke. And this coke in turn should be stored here. smooth the floor here and we could have our first smelter I mean smelter we have but furnace glass furnace wood furnace workshop Metalsmith's Forge. Ah! Dang! Did not buy any anvil. Well. Good evening, Botondar. Hmm. Well, maybe human traders will come, but they don't will they don't bring anvils, do they?
the whirling trade. And the whip of jungles is our our thing here. Well, I should have traded for Anvil. I don't know how could I have forgotten. It has happened. Ha! Huh. Taken by moon, possessed. Claimed Mason's workshop. Oh boy, this looks bad. Oh, look at that! They made it more interesting. Muttering sh Sesh Amud. Now go figure. Ha ha ha! What does he want if he wants Sesh Amud? And he wants it and he doesn't have it. Moody Dwarf. Hmm. Sesh Amud. Let's um, see the wiki. Socket. Sesh means socket. And Amud. Socket thunder. Amud is thunder. Socket thunder is probably the name of his artifact. The artifact he's going to create is probably socket thunder. Keeps muttering. Okay, he's working on a limestone, so I guess he started working, right? Begun a mysterious construction, okay. The bottom text line is cropped in half, making it illegible. Really? What is that? The bottom text line. I don't exactly know which bottom text line you mean.
All right, so we've got the cages. Oh, and capybara. We have some capybaras here. Just need to see where. Over here, I okay, 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 okay. So let's build trap, cage trap. can we build and let's have do we have a garbage stockpile yeah we do we do have garbage dump. Ah, oh, but we have garbage dump, but we don't have a refuse stockpile. Ha ha ha. guy is going to take the coke bars somewhere so let's follow him make a low priority low priority smoothing here Look at that, we have our first bar of coke, hopefully soon here. Has created Sesh Amor, the limestone floodgate. Wow, artifact floodgate. He claims it as an heirloom. The name of family, ancestor, golden knife joys. Yes. Encircled with bands of bands of rectangular limestone cabochons. Okay. So in this workshop we should make well. Let's make hatch covers. And then blocks, actually not blocks, table, chair, tables and chairs.
there's some lavish meal. Dan is asking, are there any good upcoming games that Nagidal might like? I haven't kept up with the gaming news. Any suggestions, people? Well, I don't, I'm, I'm really not looking for suggestion. I am I'm happy that I have, from now, now and then, I have, it, have time to play Dwarf Fortress. And I guess it, it won't change in years to come. Here and there I might sit down and have a have a streak of some other games, but yeah, it's uh, Tom says there and some announcements also comes down there to the left. Ah, wait, Tom says not readable. When you are in play mode, the number of dwarves are cut off. Who are they? Oh, yes, I can see that. Uh huh. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I can see that, but why is that? Why is this? Okay, I fixed it. Thanks for the thing. Some announcements also come down there, not to the left. Yeah. Tom says, for the games, Tom says, Farah could appeal. It's a modernized text adventure game in a non linear open world style. It has a mini map to the right. An inventory to the left, so it's not so fiddly to play Farah. Check it out. Hmm. Now, isn't it kind of like a JRPG? At least it has these. Open world roguelike game. Hmm. <laughs> I like the pixely graphics. Oh, it's 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 not the J JRPG, of course, because it's uh, it's text based. Oh, okay. Interesting. Some recipes. Ah, okay, I get it. Yeah, Farah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure whether I would play it, but. I, uh, I, s I see it could be interesting, yes. It's an unusual game and I like unusual games. Mm. Ah, look at this, so now we have a uh, charcoal here, so we can pretty much make coke from lignite. On repeat. Well, not on repeat. We don't need really on repeat, but make coke from lignite. And see what happens. Uh, 
and wild animals. We will have them stored here. Um, I wonder whether I should not fight these capybaras. There, huh? So let's dig a little bit deeper. Um, yeah, about these tables. So let's let's build some tables here. Galena, 
here it is this is our galena Chris Kingsley is suggesting Dragon Quest 11, a nice turn based RPG. Mm -hmm. Dan says, I saw that, Chris. It's so manga, very bad graphics, I have to say. Dragon Quest? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not really. Um, well, I, I don't read mangas, but. I don't think I would mind manga game per se. Dragon Quest, let's see, look at some images. Uh, yeah, well, it's like your, I mean, it, it looks like MMORPG for like nine year olds. Not really sure what it what would be in it for me. Galena, Galena, yeah. Well, you could of course mine Galena. But we will not, because it's getting late, late, and I have to go to work tomorrow. But we've made a little bit of progress here. I mean, it w it wasn't like it wasn't really a lot of session, but yeah, we we, we are making weapons. We have set up trap for for the chinchillas or capybaras or whatever it is. We have built our smelter, we have smoothed a lot of things. Starting building kitchen, I mean tavern or dining room. Yes, and we have moved the kitchen down, which was quite important. So next time we will look into look into so in program in chinchillas is done as good as we can barracks ammo uh, extent covered pastures is pretty much done but we will need to extend them even further later on. Brewery kitchen are done for now. We need plant processing facilities. Cook meals is in progress. We are making crossbows. Coke stockpile is done. Door stockpile, well, yep, done. Mugs are done. Yeah. Well, yeah, wooden shields, quivers, yeah. Okay, so. Next up. Barracks, build barracks. Cavern one. Caverns one. We need to know what we are. What we are at. Oh, and plant processing facilities. I will. We will need some order there. Okay, so it's roughly prepared for the next session. And um, well, 
Tomorrow I will probably not stream tomorrow. Um, I will not probably even stream during the weekend. <sighs> oh, but yeah, sometime soon. I'll get back to you. And uh, sometime next week. We will proceed with this. So I wish you a good evening and good night. Well, and see you probably next week. So thanks for joining and watching. And um, what do you say? You like you like peaceful games like Skyrim, Oblivion. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's well, peaceful. Dwarf Fortress is not really peaceful, but I like it nevertheless. And those peaceful games. Good. So till next time. Safe game.